So over the last five days, I decided I was going to do something a little bit different. I was going to do a quick little highlight of the best, the highest sold item that I had each day. Um, when I first started selling, I sold mostly clothing. I knew there was money to be made in other categories, and over time, I, I expanded. It took me a while before I got into jeans. It took me a while before I got into um, sporting goods. It took me a while before I kind of got into knickknacks and stuff like that. But over time, you know, I've built a very good inventory of over 5,000 items that's very diverse. You know, I sell in, in pretty much every category that's out there. Um, but I wanted to do a, a little video that highlighted the best, the highest priced item that sold each day. Um, so here you go. Hope, uh, hope you find some good information here and uh, here you go. All right, I woke up this morning and I sold a jersey. And so here, let's find, here, it was this guy right here. So, so far today, this is my sale of so the day. So this jersey I picked up at a local rummage sale. It was at a church. I picked it up. I think they were selling all clothes for a buck a piece. I've had it for about a month now. It's a vintage starter. This is a, a stitched piece, real nice jersey. If you look at it, in the back, it's again, stitching all over. I'm not a big hockey fan. Um, even though I grew up in Minnesota, I was a, always a basketball player, not a hockey player. But I believe this was from the, the 90s, um, the Phoenix Coyotes. Starter brand, but you can just see, you know, when you're looking at jerseys, hockey jerseys do really good, but when you're looking at jerseys, stitch on typically do really well. This one, again, paid a buck for it, sold it for 125 bucks, so pretty happy. So my, uh, my best sale of the day for yesterday were these pair of uh, boots. Now, I sell a lot of boots. Hiking boots do really well. Italian boots do great. I had never seen these before. These are called Zamberlin. They're a Gore-Tex boot. If you just look at the quality of them, you can tell that, that they're you know, quite nice. I paid 12 bucks for these at our local Goodwill. Um, you know, again, I just, when I'm looking at shoes or boots, you just have to, it's impossible to really know every single brand that's out there, because there's a lot. I mean, I've been doing this for six years. I've sold hundreds of different styles of hiking boots and mountaineering boots, and you know, even today, you know, this was a new one for me. So anyways, actually my lister did not do a good job of uh, cleaning the bottoms of them, you know, but you can just tell that they're overall in good condition. Paid 12 bucks, sold for 65, uh, took less than a week to sell. So that was the sale of the day for yesterday. Um, it was a big day for me yesterday. Um, not a lot of uh, huge items. I mean, 65 isn't a, a, a great sale, um, but I had a lot, of tw a lot of $25 sales yesterday. So it all adds up. It's all about building inventory, learning new items, selling in all kinds of different categories is, uh, has been helpful to me. But again, this was my sale of the day yesterday. So the sale of the day today for me was a guy that I did not want to sell. This is my, my Indian guy. Um, I priced him at 125 bucks. I paid eight bucks for him, gosh, six, nine months ago. Um, I really didn't want to sell him because he's kind of my doorstop for my game room in here. But as you can see, he's a, a pretty cool, uh, it's a pretty cool piece, plaster, but I just uh, really loved uh, his look and I liked the way that he greeted people when he came into the game room. But 125 bucks on an $8 investment, uh, I'm happy with that. Goodbye, Mr. Indian. All right, so being a golf coach and having been around golf 
my whole life. I sell a lot of golf equipment. This is a, a King Cobra golf bag. This is the kind that a person is going to use on a golf cart. So it's a cart bag. Um, it's a really nice one. This is kind of a bigger one. Um, it even has a person's name on it. Doesn't matter. It's a good golf bag. Brand new. This is about a $250 golf bag. I picked it up for about seven or eight dollars. I have, let's see, I've had it for a couple weeks and I sold it for 85 bucks. So that was the sale of the day yesterday. All right, so the next sale of the day is this Red Wing Shoes vintage snapback trucker style hat. Now, trucker style hats do pretty well. You know, if you can get, get it priced right now, I paid only a dollar for this. Uh, Red Wing stuff always does really good. It's, it's pretty collectible. People buy this stuff uh, pretty, uh, on a pretty regular basis. But when you're looking at trucker style hats, you're looking at keywords of snapback. It's a mesh, has mesh on the back. Um, this one has a patch on the front. But I picked this up at a local thrift store where all hats are a dollar. Picked it up for one buck and sold it for 60. I did have this hat for about two months. So this was uh, the sale of the day. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. Um, I've been doing this now for six years and there isn't a day that goes by where I'm outsourcing, I don't learn something new. You know, there are new items um, that I'm finding out about, new categories that I have walked right past. Um, every single day, I'm sure I walk past something that there's money to be made in. And the only way to learn about those things is from each other. So thank you for taking the time again to watch this. If you did gain some information that is helpful to you, please um, subscribe and uh, Thanks for your support and happy thrifting.